Washington right now. A courthouse disappearance. A guy charged for a shooting slipped out of the courthouse just moments after he was convicted. Now investigators are working to get him back into custody. Eyewitness News reporter Maya Shea is live downtown to explain exactly how he got away. Maya? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Authorities are looking for a man called Courtney Lyons. He literally walked out of the courthouse right behind me shortly before lunchtime today. This occurred after a conviction and he's still nowhere to be found. So we want to show you a photo so you can see what this young man looks like. Lyons in his mid 20s was convicted of deadly conduct. Specifically, he was found guilty of shooting at a person missing and then allegedly hitting a house. Now before the sentencing phase, after he was convicted, Lyons asked to go to the bathrooms. The bailiff allowed him to go down the hall, go to the bathroom unescorted. Ten minutes later, everyone else in the courtroom realized, hey, the guy didn't come back. Then people started looking for him. His own attorney right now is urging Lyons to turn himself in because guess what? He could have gotten probation. At the punishment range, the minimum was two years, maximum 10 years in TDC, but he was eligible for probation. Never been convicted of a felony before, never been on adult probation before, so he was eligible for probation. And uh, I felt that this was the kind of case that it, it was quite possible. And so uh, if you hear me, come on in. Well, they still haven't managed to find the lions. The attorney even called his parents, his wife. They're all very upset. They want him to turn himself in. We should note, all of this have left a lot of people wondering, hey, why wasn't anybody following him? And the sources close to the investigation tell me that technically he wasn't in custody because he has been convicted and not sentenced. But now they're reviewing all this policy. The sheriff's department, which has the bailiffs in the courtroom, they're now looking at the policies and procedures to see maybe they should have followed the guy to the bathroom to make sure he came back. We're live downtown. Maya Shea, 13 Eyewitness News. Pretty